Welcome back to another exciting episode of the OpenSheet Bootcamp series. In today's video, we will focus on how to access your OpenShift cluster after the installation process is completed. Let's start by revisiting what you have already know about accessing OpenShift local or code ready containers or CRC. For OpenShift local or code ready containers, you were introduced to two sets of credentials, Cube admin and developer. In our previous videos, during the deployment process, you already learned that. These credentials are essential for accessing the cluster's functionalities. If for any reason you misplace or forget this credential, don't worry. We have a handy command to retrieve the OpenShift local credentials. You can use CRC console hyphen hyphen credentials. This command will allow you to regain access to your OpenShift local environment without any hassle. Now let's move on accessing normal OpenShift clusters. Accessing normal OpenShift clusters after the installation of a regular OpenShift cluster, the installer automatically creates a default cube admin virtual user, which grants you access to the cluster. The necessary information for this default account, including the credentials, can be found in the installation logs. Additionally, during the installation process, the OpenShift installer uh, generates a unique cube config file in the auth directory. This cube config file contains vital details and parameters that enable the CLI to connect your OC client to the correct API server. It also includes NX509 certificate, which plays a crucial role in the authentication process. To utilize the kubeconfig uh, file for authenticating OC commands, you need to copy it to your local machine and set the absolute or relative path to the kubeconfig environment variable. Once you set up the kubeconfig environment variable, you can effortlessly run various OC commands and interact with your OpenShift cluster. That's all for this tutorial. Now you have multiple ways to access your OpenShift cluster, whether it's with the default credential for normal clusters or using the cube admin and developer for OpenShift local or code ready containers. Stay tuned for more informative videos in our OpenShift Bootcamp series. See you in the next one.